Los Angeles Marathon, mile 20, 32k in. This is where the race really starts. <laughs> So good. Halfway point in about one twenty eight and change. brief so my plan for the marathon was that I didn't really have a specific goal finish time although I thought I would be able to finish in around 2 hours 57 minutes so that would be about a 645 minute mile pace or a 412 minute per kilometer in the last two weeks my family got sick and myself as well so my wife two kids and myself were out for several days and I actually ended up getting an ear infection so I was taking antibiotics up until two days before the race so I definitely want to ease into the race and the first 20 miles 32k I was going to plan on holding back and then using some of the hills to my advantage and then at mile 20 32k in I would possibly pick up the pace if I would still feel strong at this point <music> We're exactly 244, Mike. We have to run two seven minute miles. Two sevens in your rip. Two seven minute miles. We got this. Yes. Incredible to watch him fight over here. Turn those feet over everything you got left. You're not saving anything else. Now's the time to battle, Mike. That a boy. Mike, we have to pick it up. It's gonna be just close, by, Mike. Just by 10, 15 seconds. You have 800 meters. It's so close to Kafuzi's first sub three hour marathon. Oh. You just gotta find it. 
literally we have to pick up the pace right now to make it we're fighting hard Not left to the finish line. never know what's gonna happen on race day and today was exactly one of those everything seemed to be going quite smooth until mile 20 there was definitely some wind 21 22 23 We're still running quite well and right at that point right about mile 23 I ended up seeing Kafuzi right in the front right in front of me and I knew his goal was to run a sub three hour marathon or to run a personal best. And at that point, right when I saw him, I knew he was struggling because he was running slower than average race pace. And I talked to him and mentioned, come on, let's go, let's do this, let's bring it home. And I saw right away that he was somewhat in a negative mindset. And so both myself and coach Jimmy Dean, one of my good friends and one of my original running coaches, from back in the day we ended up talking with Kafuji and we ended up running together and it was incredible we ended up pushing each other and it was to a point that he wanted to really slow down and we said like no if you run 720 or 730 minute mile you should still be able to get in there at um, some three hour like 259 59 and that's what we aimed for so we ended up running mile 23 mile 24 and we noticed we started to lose some time over there and we ended up pushing 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 mile 25 and at that moment mile 26 it ended up being a really big uphill and really being challenging and we basically said like we have to run a seven minute mile right now in order to get in there we were so close yet we saw that Kafuzi was given his everything, his absolute all. And yes, we ended up at the finish line in three hours and 54 seconds. It was still a personal best for Mike by 90 seconds. And he simply couldn't have run it any faster at that point. He had given it his all. I saw how much he was struggling. He was hurting at that point. But then again, that's what running a marathon is all about. So we ended up having a really good time. We ended up like the energy on the field was so positive and it was just really good to be finally racing again and being surrounded by other people. So.